Hi Libra. Thanks again for liking, sharing, subscribing. Okay, we have the Moon card. Knight of Pentacles. The Fool. Eight of Swords. Four of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so starting off with the Moon card. The Moon card is all about intuition, creativity, anxiety, feeling really in touch with your emotions. Maybe a lot of emotional upheaval might be surrounding you this month. It could be because of a um, of a romantic um, a romantic thing that's happening around you here. It could be because of travels, because of new starts, because of finances, you know, because of anxieties or because of financial offers. So there's a lot of things in the cards here, but definitely here with the moon card, I feel as though this is going to be, um, it could be quite an emotional month for you, Libra, as well. Um, so I feel like you need to get prepared. You need to maybe sort yourself out, meditate, sort out your thoughts, um, be very practical in whatever it is that you're doing with your finances and your relationships, you know, your inner self, your soul, your mind. What are you doing for yourself to help, um, help you know, reward not only your, your, your soul in your body, but also your mind. So this is very important. I feel like your intuition is heightened around this time. So anything you're very intuitive about, any gut feelings, any hunches, premonitions, visualizations, I feel like you need to listen to them. You need to perhaps write them down. Um, animals could play a big part for uh, a, big, a big part for you this month. Whether it's a pet, whether you buy a new pet, you visit a zoo. Um, you know, you're amongst nature. This could also be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio that's prominent around you as well. Now, I feel like for some of you, there could be an offer of marriage or an offer of love or an offer of opportunity to travel with this person. Could also be a Taurus. There's a lot of signs here that I'm seeing. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be this water sign or a fire sign as well. So keep an eye out. But I feel like there's an offer that's coming in for this person and it's going to cause you a bit of anxiety or inner strife for some reason. So, um, you know, I'm not sure about the background of this person. Um, you know, maybe you find out they have a past. Maybe you might find out something that causes you anxiety, woe or worry about this person. So this is something to... Um, you know, something to look out for this month. But I feel like with the moon card, you you know, you really need to pay attention to your intuition about this person, about whatever is going on around you, because chances are you're probably right. As I mentioned, there could be some sort of offer that's coming in here. The King of Pentacles is someone who is making you an offer. This he's holding he's holding money here, he's holding a coin. Um, so this could be a financial offer. You may be offered um, a lump sum of money. You may be offered um, a, a house, a home, an inheritance, um, a property, an asset, a car, a job even. Some of you might be, um, you know, anxiety ridden about not finding a job and maybe this is the month where this finally comes. I want to men mention to you though, this offer could come slower. Um, it might not happen as quick as you like because the King of Pentacles is usually under an earth sign and that means they are more methodical in their thinking. They're more careful in their approach, will take their time, will be more analytical, will make sure, you know, will triple check with themselves and make sure they're really sure whether they want to lend you money or make you this offer of love. So I feel it doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign. There could, there's a lot of signs here that could be making you an offer of love here, Libra. But I feel as though I'm not sure if you've previously been played the fool with this person or, you know, they've treated you like a fool or you felt like a fool. Maybe you've done something embarrassing in front of them. I'm not really sure. But either way, there could be foolish behavior linked to this person and perhaps or maybe there could even could be several offers here for new beginnings. And I feel one of them would be more promising than the other. So it's about choosing maybe romantically. As I said, it could be with work as well. Someone's offering you money. Could be to move up. Could be um, a promotion. It could be um, an offer to travel and to get paid for it. It could be a new job altogether. But the, the application process will take a while if this is what you're searching for. And the moon and the eight of uh, swords indicates that you might be stressed. You know, you might have sleepless nights. You might have anxieties. You might have second guesses. You might become despaired over the weight you know, um, you know, and being an air sign, this is this is what you resort to. You can't help it; it's in your nature, there, Libra. But this could also be an offer of love from a very um, uh, affluent, smart, uh, well-articulated, well-spoken, smart, you know, intelligent individual. 
that's coming here in front of you, whether it's a male or a female, regardless of your sex, it is someone that's willing to make you an offer. Perhaps you're moving in with someone, perhaps they want to take you on a date. Um, I feel like they like the nicer things in life with the Knight of Pentacles. They have a good position at work, they've got a good career. It could even be a case of too good to be true Libra, so we'll have to wait and see. But you also have the full card here, so this is travel, new beginning, new ventures. You're on the edge of a precipice, maybe you're on the edge of a breakthrough. This could be at work, maybe you're, you know, doing some sort of research, which regardless which field you work in, and maybe you're on the edge of a breakthrough, um, you know, whether you're a scholar, an academic, or, you know, in medical research, you know, working with vaccines or, oh goodness, you know, creating a label, regardless, that you could be on the edge of a precipice and this is where you're finally, you know, finally making those drastic changes or with the full card this is about you taking that leap of faith starting that new beginning some of you might be leaving a job leaving a job that you've just you know you can't do anymore it's just caused you too much anxiety and now you're ready to ready for a new start ready to take the leap of faith here with the full card this could also be travel this could be something to do with a trip an opportunity to travel this could be winning a competition this could be earning money for a, tr a trip this could be traveling for a wedding. Maybe it's your wedding. It could be someone else's wedding. There could be travel plans. Someone might make you an offer to travel. Could be some something romantic. Could also be a dear friend, a work colleague. Could even be, you know, a boss or a superior that wants to travel or wants you to travel for them for work, to complete a meeting, a conference, something like this as well. Now, moving on, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about anxiety, worry, fear, doubt. This could be at work or this could be in a relationship. Maybe someone's really taking their time. And as an air sign, I mean, you, you, you can grow very impatient and straight away you resort to thinking, oh, they're not interested. This is not the way I've planned. You know, they don't want to do this. How come they don't want to do that? So oftentimes, you know, you, your thoughts can can be your downfall, so to speak, Libra. So just be careful you're not getting, you're not falling into this hole. I feel as though you might have a lot of, as I said, um, maybe, you know, things circulating around you that might cause a bit of drama or a lot of emotion, or a lot of emotional upheaval around you. And it's important to stay centered this month and grounded, you know, and don't partake in foolish behavior. Don't partake and succumb to these anxieties and worries and fears and doubts because they're not going to get you for they're not going to get you far. They're not going to get you further. Um, this could also be anticipating a job. If you have been waiting for a job response or for an offer of finance, of a home, of an inheritance, of a mortgage, of a loan, of the go ahead to or a visa to travel, maybe. Um, I feel like it is coming. It's just going to take its time. So I feel like patience is the key this month. Patience and being centered, being grounded. Because you do have the four of wands. The four of wands is celebrating something. This is a marriage. You might be proposed to. You might be getting married this month. You might be attending a marriage or a celebration, an engagement, a party, a gala, a benefit, an event of some kind. And this is you, you know, being happy, being merry, being in good company. You could meet someone that's marriage material and this person is very methodical and wants to take their time. They could like to travel. They might have to travel for work and you'll know that it's this person when you meet them. But it's celebration. So you will receive this offer, I feel. It's just going to take longer. I feel it's a good outcome, despite minor stresses and upheavals. I feel for the most part, you'll be very happy with the outcome and it'll, it'll be a reason to celebrate. Could be a strong fire sign that you meet or that's around you. You might meet them at a function, at a wedding, at a gala, at an event. So if you're invited to some of these things, I would suggest you go because this could be where you meet this person. Could also be someone that's caused you grief, anxiety, or foolishness in the past. Maybe you, you know, didn't try to or attempted to have a relationship with someone and it didn't go out, you know, it didn't work out too well. And then they come back around you around this time and you meet them at a bar, at a function. 
at a party or at a social gathering or, or a mixer of some kind and then this person you know wants to make you another offer and maybe you might be more methodical in your approach to this person and you know maybe you're not as open to dating this person as well so that's also possible There could also be something that you're um, nervous about. I'm not sure if it's this offer or, you know, this event. There's something big that you're invited to or that you're thinking about doing or something exclusive that you might be attending. And for some reason, you're either nervous or in doubt or you don't see how it's going to come about or you just you're really anxious about it. You know, and I, I don't think you should be. But I just this is what I'm just seeing from the cards here. This could also be sort of like a happy family home. There could be an offer to buy a home. Some of you might have been recently married and looking for homes to buy. Um, this could come really, really quickly. I mean, sorry, this offer could come in. Now, one of them might come in really quickly. And to avoid being the fool, make sure you're, you know, very methodical in your approach. I feel like there could be a couple of offers for homes around you. And don't take, I feel like you shouldn't take the one that comes really quickly. I feel like you need to take the one that's a little bit longer, a little bit harder to get. But it'll be worth it in the end is what I see here. You also have the Six of uh, Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is sort of generosity, financial help, rehabilitation, um, financial assistance, law, charity, giving, giving back. This could be charity work. This could be asking for money, asking for funds, asking for help. And if the help is what you need to ask for, you need to ask away because, you know, no longer can you play the fool. You need this assistance. You need this help in your life. This could also be financial help for a home. Um, this could be the person that you meet. They could be in sort of this industry. But this is, you know, you've got the scales here. This could also be you giving back to the community, helping with charities or someone that might work in law legislation. It could be you, you know, the judicial system, legalities for the governments, for councils. Or this could be a new romantic person that's coming in or, or news of this. Um, or if you're coupled up, you know, married, maybe it's you're borrowing finances to travel, borrowing finances to renew your vows, borrowing finances to buy that home, rent that studio for your creative pursuit. But I feel it's going to, it might take an emotional toll on you, Libra. So patience is the key. Patience, perseverance, faith. I mean, I feel as though, as I said, you're on the edge of a breakthrough here. But what's down there that you're, you know, you're not seeing, you're not acknowledging? It could be that you, you know, you do have this foolish behavior. This could be at work as well. You may find the company, um, you know, is is affiliated with a sister company. Maybe decides to lend money um, or invest more money or sponsor some sort of charities, a sponsor a charity event, you know, a religious house. A function hall, these things are coming up for you here as well, Libra. But you definitely have to keep an eye on this offer of love or work or, you know, whatever it is in whichever facet of your life. There's a lot of creativity around you. You know, it could even be some of you might get inspired on your travel blogs and get creative, you know, get creative, do photography, landscape photography, animals, travel blogs. You know, wanting to start a script, wanting to write a book, a film, you know, uh, of something you see, something you might get inspired because of and you end up implementing that. It could be financial woes as well that might come up for you as well, Libra. I mean, the Six of Pentacles, we see these people that, you know, look destitute and that are asking for help. You know, they've got anxiety over finances. I feel it's all going to pan out. It's just going to take longer than you anticipated. So that's something you need to keep um, 
keep an eye out for. But I do wish you a lovely month, Libra.